Hello nurses, this is Camp uh, Kevin with nursingcamp.com and these are my scribble notes on nursing in the NCLEX. We're finishing up cardiac telemetry camp with heart blocks. Now heart blocks are very interesting. It's from the sticky note that's found on nursing camp and uh, Etsy, Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. And it's a complex um, topic. And when you're studying heart blocks, it can get pretty, pretty difficult to look at. But what, how I teach it is, is you know, when you think about the NCLEX and um, heart blocks, all they really care about generally is third degree heart block because that's acute. That patient needs a pacemaker and that patient uh, be, could go into cardiogenic shock and they could also uh, get VTAC. So they really need to be seen. All right, so third degree heart block is important. And you're generally told um, you know, the patient has third degree heart block, just knowing that that's a problem. They don't really get into dissecting each of them, but I'm going to do that in this lecture. That's going to be broken up into small little pieces. And the first piece I'm going to talk about is baseball. Now, I'm not a big baseball fan at all um, because I was brought up with the Red Sox, obviously, you could tell from my, lack of my uh, accent. But I kind of got developed this concept to kind of get, get a better understanding of it. All right, so this is the key. So there are four bases in baseball, okay? Each base is a QRS complex, okay? So each base is a QRS complex. So when we're looking at it, you know, and we have a P wave, then we have a QRS, T. So each base is a complex, okay? Now the journey is the PR. Okay, so there's a P wave to R, and this journey goes right around. So that's the PR interval. Now that PR interval should be 12 to 20, and that's um, boxes, right? So what I'm talking about, I don't really cover this because there's so many lectures on this part, but you know each block is 0 0.04. So to get 12, you'll have three boxes. And to get 20, you'll have five boxes. These are small boxes. So for every journey, you know, it's 12 to 20. That's a normal finding. And this person comes up to bat, and the normal player will go 12 to 20. And you'll see a P wave and a QRS after every single com complex. That is normal sinus rhythm. All right, so the first thing we're going to talk about is the first player of the team. Now, the first player of the team is the first baseman. And that first baseman's name, we call him Slowpoke. All right, so Slowpoke, QRS, QRS, and QRS. So Slowpoke on his jersey one and he's the first degree heart block but the interesting thing about first degree slowpoke is he comes up to bat and when he comes up to bat his journey to first base he goes like this so he goes wide and he goes so wide he's slow and his p are this journey is long. It's greater than 20 to 30. So, but the interesting thing about that is he does touch all the single bases. So the PR is long, but he touches all the bases, which means that there is a contraction of the QRS. But the PR interval, the P to the R, is long. And it's 20 to 30, but there is a QRS after every P wave, but it's just very long. That is a first degree heart block. Okay. In the next lecture, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, the second and the uh, two types of the second and uh, um, degree heart block. 
and we'll see you next time. So, but the big thing about this to recognize with heart blocks is on a first degree heart block, there's nothing really wrong as far as, you know, you treat the underlying cause, like whatever might be causing it. And remember that, uh, you know, prolonged PR, it's on the chronic side. And if you've seen my lecture before, you know, something going on here, it could be potassium or, you know, medications or something like that. But there is a conduction going on. So the first base, first baseman is uh, slowpoke, and that's first degree hot block. All right, we'll see you next time where we cover second degree hot block. I can be followed on uh, Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest, and Etsy, and nursingcamp.com. See you next time.